a big turn off for Filipina or she will be discouraged or... It's up to you. It's <laughs> right. really up to you if you want to cut it at your age. Because <laughs> they believe what is natural or what is given to you, you don't, you don't need to change it. Maybe you will ask, is it the biggest disappointment for a Filipina that um, she will know during your lovemaking that you are not circumcised? Welcome, welcome to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Esme. It's me, Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to Roger, Roger and Esme Vlogs. So today's subject, should I cut it off? Mm. Okay, before we start, thank you so much for your support and your support our channel. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. So, what do you mean by cut off, Esme? Now, this is very interesting. And for sure, you are curious to know about this subject also. Of course. So, one of our <laughs> subscribers made a comment. And it goes like this. Dear Charo, <laughs> it's from Bus Benny, 7369. Should I get circumcised for my Filipina? New subject. Thank you for <laughs> that question. A wonderful question. <laughs> so, let's be frank right now. So, here in the Philippines, guys, in, based on Google research, 92.5% is circumcised here for Filipinos. So well, since you're majority foreigners, of Filipinos. yeah, majority of Filipinos. But since you're foreigners, of course, Filipinas on their first meeting, especially if this is their first time with dating a different nationality and they're not really exposed to different culture, so they would be shocked. Yes, of course. Yes. Believe me. Because uh, they always expect that the guy that they're dating is circumcised. Yes, because most Filipinos are circumcised. Though they are thinking that all guys in the world are circumcised. And that's the truth. Especially if they never been in other countries. They ne never been exposed to different cultures. So that's their mindset. They're still close. They're not open yet. Yes, and uh, the question is, is a Filipina prefer to have a guy who is circumcised or not? That's the so, question. Main answer there is yes, they prefer their partner to be circumcised, yes. but there is an exemption. Wow, what's that? Yes, because Filipinas are known for being flexible. They can adopt easily. Once their partner is not circumcised, they would respect that. Yes, and that's the truth. They would respect that because you meet him in that state. That's the, the reality. So it's not hidden. Well, yeah, but what about like uh, if the Filipina will know uh, at first, like they're in a stage where getting to know stage and the guys like opening it up that uh, he's not circumcised. Would it be uh, a big turn off for a Filipina or she will be discouraged? Most of the time, they would be shocked. They would really be shocked because they're thinking that all guys are circumcised. But for women that are exposed to foreigners already, of course, they would not be surprised at all because they already know. Yes. But for Filipinas, especially for province women, they would think that, oh, okay, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is awkward, but simply they would really adopt. Yeah, it's yes. like uh, you're taking a bath and then you're wearing a raincoat. Yeah, same scenario. <laughs> but of course, guys, the sensitivity of your, your banana not being circumcised is 100% sensitive, as they say, as for guys say. But here in the Philippines, once you're not circumcised, if you're a guy, you get bullied. Yeah. And that's the reality here. You get bullied, that's especially true. if you're already at the age of 13 and you're not circumcised yet. <laughs> you get bullied. You'll be a laughing stock in your school. Yes. And if your friends talking about uh, 
circumcised thing or, or what, you'll be like, you know, sitting down and listen to them because you're afraid to talk about it because you know that you are not circumcised. Yeah, you feel you ashamed. You have to hide it. You feel ashamed because here in the Philippines, circumcised guys, it's like showing that they're real men. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, a what you call that in a tribe? A tradition. A tradition. It's like this is how they initiate men. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Here in the Philippines, once you're circumcised, you're already a guy. You're a man already. So maybe if you'll encounter a Filipina and then uh, she will ask if you are uh, circumcised or not, then just be frank. Yes. And let's see if he, she could accept you or not. And maybe she will ask also why you're not to undergo this or and that. You're maybe you're afraid or so. Yeah, you can just open up. Yes, because most Filipino would respect your decision. That's actually showing or giving an educational background about your culture. Because Filipinas, not all Filipinas are exposed. Again, not all. Because yes. most of them are just kept there. They never been to outside their comfort zone yet. So that's the, the reality here. So you can just be frank. If her reaction would be devastated or she doesn't like it, or, it's up to you. It's right. really up to you. If you want to cut it at your age. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to add also here in the Philippines uh, at a young age, uh, kids will start to like undergo circumcise at the uh, early age at six or five or uh, nowadays there are some like uh, parents want to like have their uh, newborn baby to be circumcised yes yeah, so that they would not undergo the pain because like two to three days it will be swollen yes I've seen that That's I right. have cousins and I have a brother and his banana was so swollen, it was like a, like a chorizo. <laughs> so also maybe you will ask, is it the biggest disappointment for a Filipina that um, she will know during your lovemaking that you are not circumcised? No, I, would not, I, I don't believe that. Because once you love a person, even though they are not circumcised, it's just the same thing. It's just the same size. The only thing is, is the feature is different. Like the <laughs> physical or the appearance is different. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing. But they would be, I think they would be a little bit, like I would say, they think that it's a little bit entertaining for them, for Filipinas. Why to, entertaining? It's funny. <laughs> it's like, funny. Yeah. Most Filipinas would think that, oh, <laughs> he's not circumcised. They would laugh. Yes, they would laugh because, again, it's a symbol here of manhood if you're cir circumcised in the Philippines. But that's just, that's just a normal reaction coming from your Filipina. That's just normal, guys. So don't, don't, be, don't get offended if she would laugh because, again, it would just feel a kind of like funny situation because she's already like looking at you and, oh, it, it, it looks different. <laughs> yes. Well, if the Filipina really loves you, she won't leave you. Yes. Uh, she will stay no matter what, though you're like that, you're not circumcised. It's then not you, a big you factor. Can, you can see that the Filipina loves you also. Yeah, it's not a big factor. Circumcised or not, love is love. Yeah. Yes. It's just that here in the Philippines, it's like following what the traditional is, like a Filipino man do. Like a ritual. Yeah. Like those ritual has been generations to generations. So that's the reason why up until now, they do that. Because that was the tradition before. Yes. So for us in the Philippines, you need to be circumcised. Because if you don't, you would be... Bullied, like we bullied. mentioned. Yeah, yeah, you would really be bullied. You'll be a laughing stock. People would look at you differently. So that's why most Filipinas would always think that you should circumcise at an early age. But yeah. for foreigners, you don't really need to. Yeah, and uh, they knew the fact that uh, it's not your uh, tradition, it's not your culture. 
Yes. Right? So for sure, Filipinas or your Filipina will understand that. Yes. Again, guys, it's not a big factor if you're circumcised or not. What is the most important thing there? Both of you are love or in love with each other. You're serious with your relationship. And the most important thing there is you communicate with each other. Yes. So yes. like I said earlier, just to open it up uh, beforehand. Yes. <laughs> so that uh, she'll not be shocked during lovemaking. <laughs> just educate her, guys. Because again, this is not our culture to like guys that would not be circumcised. Most of the guys here are circumcised in the Philippines. Yes, so absolutely. That's the only thing that you can do. Educate her, be frank, and tell her that, oh, there are just few people that are circumcised in the entire world. Most of men are not circumcised because they believe what is natural or what is given to you, you don't, you don't need to change it. Yes. So I think that would be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. And we hope to see you in our next video. No hate, guys. Just, Just love. love. Bye. Bye.